Hello and welcome to Anjali's Bake Affair. Welcome to one of my favorite flavor combinations, apple and cinnamon, and it comes together in this beautiful tea cake here. You will need flour, sugar, butter, baking soda, baking powder, yogurt, grated apple, cinnamon powder and some assorted fresh berries if you have them available. To begin, take room temperature butter and powdered sugar or caster sugar in a big bowl and start beating it together very well till you get a creamy fluffy mixture. And remember to use room temperature butter. You can use salted or unsalted as you wish. I usually use salted butter in my cakes because that's the one that's always available at my home. So that's the one I go with. Now you need to sift in the flour and the baking powder in your butter and sugar mixture. Sift a little at a time and then bring it together with a spoon. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do remember to subscribe to it. You can add in the cinnamon powder at this point, but you can actually add in the cinnamon powder at any point, even in the end, in the beginning. So it's really all right, as long as you add it. Then add in the yogurt, some baking soda, mix it well together. After this, again add the rest of the baking powder and flour mixture. Mix it together with a spoon. Finish off with the rest of the remaining yogurt. you have this beautiful batter which is ready for your grated apples. Try to grate your apples at the last moment just before adding them to the cake batter. Otherwise they'll turn brown and dark which you don't want although it's all right even if they do but I usually like to grate my apples at the very end. You can find the complete written recipe with step-by-step -step pictures in detail on my website anjalisbakeaffair.com. Now you will have a thinnish batter, something like this, and this is just right. Now pour your batter in a greased tin. My tin is greased as well as lined. This is about 7 inches uh, round. And now it's ready to bake. Bake it in a preheated oven at 180 degrees C for about 45 minutes or till you know that it's done. That means it's golden on the top and when you insert a skewer in the middle, it comes out clean. So there's our beautiful golden apple cinnamon tea cake ready out of the oven. It tastes very nice when it's warm. Of course, it's very delicate if you try to turn it out and cut it while still warm. But I still did that because I cannot wait to taste it. You can always keep it, let it cool down well and then take it out, cool it, frost it. Uh, I just sprinkled some cinnamon powder all over the top and enjoyed it with my cup of hot tea. So if you do go ahead and make this apple cinnamon tea cake, Post some pictures on Instagram and tag us at Anjali's Bake Affair. Until next time, bye-bye and enjoy.